Hello and welcome back to the daily budget. Today I am filming my September paycheck budget. This is going to be for the payday on the 8th. And with this paycheck, I'm going to pay the Wi-Fi and the water sewer bill. And I think I'm actually going to pay this credit card payment as well. Because we have a little bit more money coming in. Let's see. So, water sewer is $88.19. And then our Wi-Fi bill is $76. This says $67, but it's actually $63 for some reason. So I'm gonna be paying those two and then this $300 credit card payment. We've been consistently paying 300 to our credit card with a little bit extra every month. And so we're just kind of keeping it at that 300 even though the payment is going down. And here I wanna go over a little bit of our income changes. So I haven't been as present over here on YouTube and that's because I got a part-time job. So. I am working part-time in the evenings after my husband gets home from work. And so that's where you'll see income number three is coming in. And so I did get my first paycheck for just a couple days of work for $166.64. So that's totally cool. I, I enjoy my job. I'm thankful that I get to go somewhere and work and that we have a little bit of extra money coming in because this is really going to help us out. We, I, you know, I've been debt free before, so I know what it's like, but I also recognize that sometimes you just need a bigger shovel to get out of debt quicker. So that is partially what we're dedicating this money towards. And then the other part of this money is just going to get us ahead in certain parts of life. So I don't know if you guys feel this way, but sometimes it's like, all of a sudden you need glasses and then you need to fix something on your car and then you need tires. And it's like, we are pretty much to the point where we can only reasonably save for a couple things at a time. And although I've been working on saving for things like Christmas or like cash flowing, I do recognize that we do need a little bit more money. So I'm hoping that that just really helps us out. And then a total surprise, my husband got a dollar raise at work, so that's cool. So now this income number one went up to eight twenty two ninety one, and I'm not, I forgot to look, I'm not sure if that was the dollar raise or if he had worked a little bit of overtime, but I think that might be the one dollar raise. And then income number two, of course, that's our roommate income. So for this paycheck... On, oh gosh, this is already nine. This is nine, eight, 23. Okay, I had to think a little bit. <laughs> so for bills, I'm gonna try this. I think we can make this happen. So I'm gonna save 300 to savings for partial rent, and then I'm gonna also do the $300 credit card payment. So this is something that we haven't been able to do in the past during the same uh, week. Like normally I would have to split up, the credit card payment would be one week and then I would have to make up that partial rent in a different week. But I am confident that we have enough money now to do both. So just being able to do that, to pay the $600, so the 300 to the credit card and the 300 to ourselves for rent, just being able to do that in one like paycheck because we get paid every week for income number one just being able to do that is great that really helps us just stay ahead for the whole month because i would find that if you've watched my videos i would find that like towards the end of the month i would just be like cutting everything to try and save that rent money you know and i there's nothing wrong with that i think there's seasons of life where you do have to cut stuff and that's okay but i like we've cut nearly everything <laughs> and so we're doing what we can so our total bills comes to 764.82 and then our spending category breakdown gas i'm gonna do 60 dollars. i don't think we need 60 dollars worth of gas but it is like gas prices are still fluctuating so I, i'm not sure i think it will be more around like 40 dollars. i would hope 
but I'm going to budget 60 just to be safe. Groceries, I am budgeting 200 and I think, I think we'll use that whole 200. I am house sitting this week, so I wasn't sure whether to budget more or less. That's always a hard one because, you know, sometimes you end up buying more groceries because you're not necessarily meal planning as much. But I'm going to try and stick to 200 and then coffee. I'm budgeting zero. I didn't spend any money on coffee last week, so I'm just, I'm going strong. And I think I'm just gonna quit caffeine altogether because I recognize that I I really don't have impulse control <laughs> where that's concerned. Like if I do go somewhere in my car, I really do wanna go grab a coffee. So I'm working on that. I really just wanna cut it out because even, even like I buy Dutch Bros coffee to make at home in my espresso machine, my, I have like a Mr. Coffee espresso machine. So even that coffee is like upwards of $40 a month now. <laughs> and that's obviously for home coffee, but a category I'm working on. Gas station goodies. I'm budgeting 70. I, I wasn't very good about tracking our expenses last week. So I'm not sure if this is still a reasonable number for my husband or not. I'm hoping, I've been so busy, you guys, I'm hoping I get some time maybe next week to go back and track our expenses for the last week, but that might just have to be something I catch up on at the end of the month. We'll see. Fun money, I am budgeting 50 because there was a couple of things I wanted to purchase off of Amazon, so I'm just making some room for that. You know, I don't... I don't want to cut out all the fun, especially as I'm starting a new job because I'm one of those people that is highly rewarded by money, like intrinsically. So if I'm going to work and I get my paycheck and I don't see my first paycheck, I'm, I'm just going to be like internally unmotivated. So I'm budgeting some fun money for myself to feel like, you know, I, I got that breathing room I wanted. And so next up we have household. I don't think we need anything for the household. I did buy a couple of things last week, so I'm just going to budget $10, and I might even pull this out in cash. I haven't been able to cash stuff because I've been back and forth house sitting, so it, it didn't really make sense for me to pull money out and try and figure that out with my husband, so I just decided to leave everything in our account, but this week I might take out that $10 just to tuck it away and have it for the next weeks to come if we need it. So spending categories came to $390. And then sinking funds, I I would love to contribute to some other sinking funds, but I think because I'm so busy right now, I just need to stick to my Christmas. Christmas is it's coming whether you plan for it or not. And so I just wanna really stay on top of that one if I do nothing else because that is the main one that sends us back into debt. And so if I can save this every week, just just treat it like a bill, you know? That's kind of how I've been doing it. I've been treating Christmas money like a bill. I gotta pay it, I gotta save it, and then I'll use it later. Extras and others. I left this kind of higher than I normally would at 74 73 as my remainder and that's because we had a quite a few pending transactions from the previous week and because i didn't track our spending i wasn't too sure what had already gone through and what was going to come out of these paycheck this paycheck does that make sense so sometimes like we spend money and especially this weekend was a good example Monday was a holiday, so anything we spent from, oh gosh, it's normally like from Friday to Monday, some of those don't show up at all. And so that's really hard for me when I do sit down to write this budget if I haven't good, been good about tracking my expenses because then I really truly do not know how much money we have already sitting in our account because sometimes like Tuesday, Wednesday will hit and then like a bunch of transactions will go through. So I'm just playing it safe. I'm keeping 74, 73 in there and we should be good. So this was my paycheck budget. I hope you enjoyed my little update for you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.